Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Well, it happened. Signature Bank is shutting down. Not because they had, well, they kind of did sort of have a bank run, but not really. I mean, their stock was way, way down and they were in some kind of danger, but they were actually shut down by New York State regulators and they were a big lender in the crypto industry. Now, let's not get this wrong. The majority of signature, pay, signature bank's deposits were not crypto. Less than 10% of the signature bank deposits were actually crypto. In fact, a signature bank actually did uh, fund like a lot of lawyers and other uh, startups and many of their clients did have over $250,000 in the bank. But those clients should not worry because the government has assured them that they will have full access to their accounts, same as Silvergate. But however, the bondholders and um, stockholders of that bank are annihilated. They will not get anything back. And uh, the Fed announced similar systematic risk exception for Signature Bank New York, New York, which was closed today by its state chartering authority. So the state will no longer get Signature Bank open. Now, there is definitely the possibility that they are just attacking all crypto banks or all banks that are friendly towards crypto. But then, you know, it's kind of weird that they're just making everyone whole giving people a little bit of confidence. So Silvergate and Signature have both went down. SVB has went down. First Republic is in trouble. So a lot of the smaller banks, SVB by being by far the largest, are kind of having issues. And Signature, like, like I said, the stock had plunged like 70, 80%. And um, yeah, it was actually facing people, it was actually facing people who wanted withdrawals, but it wasn't so bad that they would actually close down. So it was a little bit of a surprise that the state regulator would step in and demand it close down. And a lot of the executives were actually surprised because they were not yet at financial collapse. So Signature was the biggest bank uh, besides Silvergate to be very, very friendly towards crypto. Um, and uh, it did actually have a value of $4.4 billion as of Friday, but it did tend to go down after hours. Um, basically, like Signature had... $88.6 billion in total deposits um, and $110.4 billion in total assets. So they were able to cover, but the kind of run and people um, withdrawing and also the feds uh, being afraid of systematic risk did actually uh, mean that it had to shut down. But I do believe that this was a somewhat of attack on the crypto industry, although it wiped out a lot of lawyers and other people that were using Signature as well. Remember, over 90% of Signature Bank was not crypto. I think the crypto asset depositors will actually get their crypto back from Signature Bank. A lot of people on Twitter are saying that this is finally what's supposed to happen, that you know, crypto was not supposed to be involved in banks. But let's be real, you still need some kind of an off-ramp. Um, you know, just living a life of crypto and buying everything with crypto without banking fiat on ramps is very difficult as many merchants will not directly accept crypto. The ones that do off those cards do go via bank to cash out into fiat first. So this could be a traditional financing systems attack on crypto to basically um, hold off its advance. But it probably won't work as there are other uh companies already signing up to serve the crypto world. But anyways, Signature Bank has closed another blow to crypto, but it doesn't seem to have affected crypto price as crypto price is still going up. So that's the news in the day. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day, people.